want to learn something in six minutes or less. I myself am a regular person who knows stuff. Now I'm going to teach you something about uh, music. Hey, that music that you were just listening to, that was some pretty active and sophisticated jazz. Now I'm going to teach you how to play drums to that. It's easy. You can do it. You may have noticed that there's a three-bar ostinato in the beginning of the piece that kind of sets the tone. That's what we're going to learn. You can find the music down below, the written music, if you want to copy it off and look at it. All right, it's a bass ostinato, two measures of 4-4, four, four, one measure of 5-4, and it sounds like this. And I'll play it slowly for you. Uh, 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 one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one. Here it is up to speed with the drums added. Uh, 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 uh. Now I'm going to teach you how to do it. It's a pretty fast song. So you're not going to have time for either of your hands to be traveling you know, a great distance. You can't be playing drum, drum twister. The key is to make sure you have the correct hand on the correct drummer symbol at all times. It's easy. First of all, groovy man, left drumstick, right drumstick. All right, let's break this down. The cymbals are always hit with the right hand, except for beat three of the first measure. We'll hit it with our left hand. The first time you hit the side of the high tom, it's with your right hand. The second time, with your left hand. The floor tom is hit only once, with the left hand. So let's play the first few beats. One, two, three, four. One. Notice. Now here's the whole pattern a couple of times. One, two, three, four. One.